I'm Ryan Betson from The Pop Culturist, and Christmas has come and gone. And I hope you have had a very merry Christmas. I myself had a fantastic Christmas. I got to watch some wrestling on uh, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Big win for me. My lovely Finn Balor merch arrived. And I also had a very PlayStation Christmas. So as you don't know, we here at the Pop Cultures, we are big PlayStation fans. We even run the PlayStation podcast right there for the players. And my f- wife and my family and my friends know this pretty dearly. So, of course, Christmas rolls around. There's always PlayStation-centric gifts. So, this year, I want to share some of them with you. One of them's an easy one. You probably know what it is because almost every any PlayStation fan would have it at this point. Second one is a little bit cooler. So... First one is the PlayStation Classic. Very, very cool indeed. And the second oh, is this. We'll put it that way because it's a little bit easier. This is the EB Games uh, exclusive PlayStation loot, block, loot box. I believe it's built by Culturefly, it says right there. So we'll get to that one in a minute. That can stay there. Let's crack this bad boy open and let's have a look. All right, so. Now. So the box itself is set up to look like PS Pro. So it's got the, it's got the sandwich effect on the front there. So I do have a, myself on the screen just so I can make sure that I'm, you know, looking good. Now I actually have no idea what's in here. The only th- actually no, I, I lie. I do know what's in here. Like the the sticker on the side goes, you have this, 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 and this. And there are two surprise items. Other than that, it's pretty on the box. So huh. position logo huh. inside. Very cute. All right, first things first, a PlayStation hat. Very simple. It's just a standard uh, snapback cap with the OG PS logo on it. Now, I have a huge head, so I can only assume that this will not fit. Can confirm. Uh, So these are the two surprise items. Coming to them last because surprises and stuff. Uh, what looks to be hair gel, you know, for those who want that true hair PlayStation hair look. Um, no, it's a set of coasters. It's PlayStation symbols, the sacred symbols themselves. Uh, these are a nice uh, plastic, act, like almost like a rubbery texture. Oh, I kind of know that. Very cool. I like these a lot. So I'm not a big fan of crappy plastic ones. I find they tend to almost like hold the liquid if it happens to condensate on them. Now I'm sure rubber does the same thing, but these just feel sturdier. They feel they do feel slightly more uh, expensive, for lack of a, of a better word. Uh, <laughs> this one I dig a lot. So it is a. So I'm going to cover my face for a sec. This is a PlayStation uh, throw, fleece throw rug. It's decked out in the PlayStation controllers, as well as the big PS logo in the middle. Uh, I'm going to put this on my son's bed. He's only two, but I'm going to indoctrinate the shit out of him. Love it. Love it a lot. Next is uh, a scarf. Now, it's a bit weird to get this now, seeing as we are in the middle of summer. Uh, and it's hot as shit, like all the time. But it's got it's covered in the symbols. I'm a big sucker for the symbols, hence the thing there, part of the logo, total copyright infringement. Um, and just I love it a lot. So <clears throat> thankfully, it's like what time is it? it's like 10:30 at night right now, so it's not too bad. And it has uh, little pockets for your hands. So come. Uh, uh, Australian winter, which isn't even that garbage anyway. But however, it is. I do live in the outer suburb, like in just out of Melbourne, by about an hour and a half. Um, and we get Melbourne weather by proxy, and it sucks. It sucks hard here because it's it's sunny one minute and then it's pissing down rain the next. Uh, speaking of next, this is the messenger bag. Is there a safe way to open this without tearing it apart? Yeah, there is. Ah. Bam! Also covered in them sacred symbols. I love it. I genuinely love it. It's so good. Uh, comes with a strap. Not a lot. Not a lot of storage in there. It seems to be just a kind of a back. It seems to be a bit of a back and a bit of the front. 
It'd be... It's probably a little small for a man. It would get... It would very much get down to man bag territory. But, uh... I don't believe I'm comfortable enough to rock it. And I don't mind shamelessly sharing some question love. I do have, actually have a bigger messenger bag where I carry my laptop and stuff to work. Big fan. Now, this was 100% the selling point uh, for this particular. So, my wife did pick this up for me, but when I did first see it, I was like, I gotta get this. And it's for one reason, one reason alone. It's a dual shock bath mat. Holy shit. I didn't even know I needed this, and I needed it, and it's going to live in my bathroom, it's going to be in front of my sink, so every morning I look down and I get happy because I see the jewel shock. Ah, isn't it beautiful? It's not very thick, it's quite thin, I don't know how, like, you know, water resistant or anything it's going to be, I, you know, it's one of those cosmetic bath mats, rather than anything sort of super absorbent, I guess, lack of a better word, and we have a PlayStation pin. Because, I, know, you know, any loot box apparently can't be a box without pins. Although I don't collect pins personally. It's... Oh, dude, that's kind of cool. It um, has a little... Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this, but it's got... Uh, it's, got it's a bit very reflective. And it can open. And there's a little disc tray in there. Uh, there is a disc. It is on... It is on... Note, it's not noted as anything. It just has the PlayStation uh, officially licensed product on there. It's a two-pin. Two-pin pin. So it's pretty good i i assume uh next up is a lanyard and a key card holder so if you are if you do work in an office with a with a with a beep what are they called uh thing it's gonna be pretty rad so it's also covered in oh, i might just use this for work i think I, I don't have a key card anymore but i think is that a magnet or is that just is that just cardboard oh it's just cardboard that's kind of boring there's a little cardboard uh position one in there there's a, little, there's a little plastic jewel shock on the on the bottom there. I know you can't really see it, but uh, and the sim uh, <laughs> a lanyard with the PlayStation symbol and the sacred symbols there as well. Love it. I'm personally a big fan of this box. Now, granted, a lot of it's you know as it's cosmetic-y shit and that's cool, but we still also have these two things to open as well, which I almost forgot about. Now I can only it says the PlayStation Collector's mug, so the box does kind of give it away. see how we go i know those that don't like styrofoam noises because i think that's a thing there's asmr and then there's just noises that are horrifying um okay very simple so it's just uh it's kind of the play it's, it's the original playstation gray almost um with the four key colors that are found on the logo so it's kind of a nice little rainbowy strip effect i personally would have preferred probably the black one with the with the single symbols on the side uh, but this is pretty dope nonetheless. I've not seen this outside this box, if that means anything. So that's pretty cool. And this one just says vinyl art. And this is the last thing for this box. So let me get in there. But yeah, no, I hope you guys had a, an awesome Christmas and got some gaming or PlayStation goodies. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, I didn't get many uh, games this year. Actually, I didn't get any games this year. Um, we've, very, we've been very lucky. I've played most of the games that I've wanted to this year and didn't have to pick any up. All right, this is, go this is totally going on the shelf behind me. So this is a plastic piece of controller art. Excuse me while I gross out my face. Um, it's very cool. I like it a lot. Nice little display piece. I can sit there. Man, I'm just covered in PlayStation goodness. Already it's 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 a it's a Christmas that I'm a big fan of. Got coasters, got a bath mat, got bags, got pins, got things, and I even have a PlayStation Classic. So my wife. As amazing as she is. So when they first announced this, I looked at her and I'm like, I need one of these. I need this. She's like, you, you no. You can't have it. It's silly. Would you ever even play the games on it? It's expensive because $150 Australian. You can't have it. I'm like, come on. That sucks. I need this. And, I, and eventually she wore me down. And I was like, yeah, no, that's fine. I get you. I, I don't need it. 
Spoilers, she totally pre-ordered this bad boy and picked it up day one and had it hidden from me this entire time. Mind you, think that's like three weeks or something, but holy shit, my wife's amazing. Big fan of my wife. She does support my PlayStation habit, <clears throat> which is really kind of a bad way to put it, but it is a habit. So here's a knife I prepared earlier. Ooh. Now, there are... Look, I'll, I'll, have a, I'll go, quickly go through some of the games here and I'll let you know whether they are of interest to me personally. Uh, Battle Arena Toshinden. Not personally. Cool Borders 2. Big thumbs up there. Destruction Derby. Thumbs up there. Final Fantasy 7. Not a Final Fantasy guy, but 7 is apparently like the best one and I'm very keen to give it a taste and see what it's like. Uh, the original Grand Theft Auto. Two thumbs up. Uh, Jumping Flash. No, no idea. Metal Gear Solid 2 and a sneaky third from under the table. Three thumbs up. Uh, Mr. Driller, eh. Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, thumbs up. Rayman, eh. Resident Evil, thumbs up. Re Revelations Persona, eh. Ridge Racer, thumbs up. Uh, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, eh. Siphon Filter, two thumbs up. Tekken 3, one, two, three, and probably a fourth, because I fucking love Tekken 3. Uh, Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, and Wild Arms. I don't those ones. Anymore. So, granted, it is missing some of the big games that I love on the PlayStation 1. Uh, some of them being like Silent Hill, uh, Harvest Moon Back to Nature, uh, Shame One Cricket 99, that's for you, Paul. Um, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, you know, Breath of, Fi uh, Breath of Fire. A bunch of games that seem to be missing from the so-called classic console. And the likes of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Now, you can kind of you can assume that a lot of the games that should be on here are probably due to licensing issues, but that makes sense. So, uh, it's keeping the same aesthetic that they've done recently, which is the box, and then there's the inner box, which is the nice solid white. Now, this isn't the original PlayStation box that I had. Um, when I dived into PlayStation, I think I was like nine, and we had uh, the DualShock variant which isn't the one in here. Now, I do have original PS1 up there. So after we unbox this bad boy, we'll grab that one and we'll do a size comparison. All right. <laughs> uh, a, the instruction manual looking almost identical to the original, even down to what looks to be like seven languages. Beautiful absolutely beautiful see obviously you know this is like this box this in this classic itself it is all running on nostalgia and i have such a love and nostalgia for playstation that it, it can't go uh unmentioned holy shit well there it is there it is hang on let me I'll, I'll take it out of the pack what am i doing what am i doing get out of here ah oh, there's tape everywhere oh god all right we're good <laughs> uh and there it is that is the playstation classic that thing is fucking tiny all right let me get the og one oh as i just stumble over everything anything in there aha so this is the original playstation one with reboot the first game i ever received on playstation this one's a lot dustier than the new one in the box hold that i'm running out of desk here peoples so that's the old one. That is the new one. You could literally fit the new one in the disc tray of the original. Holy shit. Now, <laughs> uh, mine for some reason has silver ink pen in there. I think I tried to do something with the ink pen and the disc because I was an idiot child. Not knowing things to be worth money at some point. But aesthetically, Aside from the HDMI plug at the back and the micro USB, it looks pretty much the same. Oh, and the USB is at the front. All three buttons work. Uh, obviously, your on button, your reset button, and your jet, the open button. My understanding is the open button does rotate the games. Resets, I think it's a save state thing, and on and off is pretty straightforward. It does. It also has the uh, cosmetic... Uh, what, what is it? It is the uh, parallel I.O., port which mine's missing the case for that's weird i don't remember taking that off but yeah no that's awesome that's very stoic so keep an eye on the channel we will be uh streaming some of these classic games either on here or at twitch at twitch.tv slash the pop culturists uh but fuck yeah all right 
you put that there let's have a look at the now there are two controllers this box is way heavier than i expected like it's there's a big hunk of weight to it i because I, that is very light there's not much to it so the weight has to be in these it's not the hdmi cable it's not a lot of weight in the hdmi cable it's not a micro usb cable not a, oh no it's a, a bit of weight between two of them there's also these two playstation one controllers now they look to be about the same size let me just do a quick size comparison with the dual shock yep yeah it's about the same size but it, like it, it feels it feels like nostalgia it's very weird though not having the thumbsticks you know even now playing ps4 you do your thumbs whether you want to or not kind of naturally go to where they are so i'm very i'm very happy with this now the cord itself let's see because one of the biggest complaints about the original so i'm, I'm all chaos over the shop here because i'm excited i'm really enjoying this person goodness and i'm just genuinely looking at this going i want to play this i'm playing this so fuck bad so once i'm done i'm literally plugging it in right there and i'm playing it on that tv i'm gonna boot it up see what it looks cord not that long so i really i'm probably gonna be able to only be able to use it in this room because the cord will make it here but literally in the lounge it's, it's not gonna make it. it's not gonna make the stretch because that look barely even makes the distance of of the screen you're looking at there look at that Ugh. Uh, which is really which is really poor unit of measurement because we all have different size tvs but anyways this is just my playstation christmas haul it's a very playstation christmas here in the betson household with my playstation loot box my playstation classic my playstation hair gel not hashtag not hair gel uh a knife um i am beyond words with my playstation love right here like i am unabashedly a fanboy of this brand um playstation means a a lot to me it has t it has been involved in 20 years of my life at this point so it doesn't just mean video games to me it means my childhood it means my friends it means my enjoyment it means my happiness uh playstation is a pivotal role in who i am as a person and the content the things i like to make what i like to do so this is just genuine <laughs> child glee right now for me if you want to hear more about that child glee you can listen to for the players the pop culturist playstation podcast every monday morning on 9 a at 9 a.m on a australian eastern time um or 8 a.m on podcast services but uh i've got some classics to play so i'm ryan betson this was my playstation christmas and i hope you had an excellent christmas and we'll see you all very soon